do you think that his remark or hate speech has put congress in a cash 22 situation so to call it a hate speech may be going too far no no just for the clarification of the viewers i'm asking so you think that what he spoke was a hate speech but his intention was not to do that discomfort here in your statement that he didn't mean okay. to do it i'm not here to make you comfortable you know no 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 that's perfectly fine the intention is not to do it he should have he should have spoke about that and he should have at least apologized to the majority hindus who are feeling uncomfortable about it don't you think let's, that's been done it doesn't matter if i hurt a single individual or single atma it's wrong to so sir don't you think you're beating around the bush i asked you the question has this put congress in a cash 22 situation now sir you're beating around the bush an interview which was given by tamil nadu uh, congress chief k s aragiri to a senior journalist mr rangaraj pandey in chanakya where he said okay. he I, congress I, has this agenda of you know actually uh, eradicating sanatan dharma are you supporting mr aragiri on this particular quote that he had given to rangaraj pandey at that time honestly i did defend aragiri and again saying the same thing i hello and welcome to chanakya space off today we have with us senior congress leader mr amarike narayanan it's a great pleasure to have you back in chanakya english sir welcome how are you vanakkam great how are you sir yeah good sir uh, dallas my native uh, i wouldn't say my native place the place that i had been there for still quite hot. some place away from home still still hot but uh, looks like it's uh, less hotter than the political situation in uh, india today <laughs> well i guess you guys are having fun because when it gets hotter most of the journalists get busier so it's just yeah. i know we want to give you some something to talk about and make life a little more interesting i suppose and more so the present regime the elections are heating up so every day is going to get from hot to hotter to the hottest yeah so let me start with this sir uh, the recent controversy created by dmk sports minister mr udayniti stalin on his hit speech and remarks about sanatan dharma do you think i'm sure you're not going to approve of it being a sanatani yourself but do you think that his remark or hate speech has put congress in a cash 22 situation first thing let's go back and look at the origin of this hate speech now i think to put it in a proper perspective as you rightfully said neither any person will not like whether he is a hindu or a muslim or a christian will accept any hate speech and even an atheist will not accept a hate speech so to call it a hate speech may be going too far there are a hate speech uh, let me finish up please one or two things one when somebody does something you need to look at why they did it the intentions behind it and the action action is clearly wrong intention also has to be looked at when you are trying to hang somebody and that's what exactly what you guys are trying to do and the opposition is trying to do if you go back sanatana dharma particularly in the context of tamil nadu 
has not been in vogue for a very before, very before, very before you go any I further said. right uh, just let me ask this question to you do you think what he spoke was not a hate speech is that what i'm hearing from you or sir again uh, before you go any further you 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 consider this not to be a hate speech is that what i'm hearing from you i don't think he intended to be a hate, hate speech it was a hate speech but what it the hurt. intention was it, it, yes, no no that, that's exactly that's exactly what i said if somebody if some action takes place there are two things that needs to be there no no just for the clarification of the viewers i'm asking so you think that what he spoke was a hate speech but his intention was not to do that it can be taken as a hate speech but his intention is clearly was not that and do you understand yeah a little bit but yeah. i'm just surprised i, I hope you do because no because i can give you the two days since this started and even after that particular instance of where he uh, in the conclave where he spoke that there have been multiple instances i think two or three times he met the press where he could have clearly told like his intention is not to do this and if it has hurt and it has definitely hurt the sentiments yeah, of I, I, I am, he didn't, I am, he didn't mean no i am me as, i am as a hindu i i have a slight um, you know slight uh, in a line of uh, discomfort here in your statement that he didn't it's okay do it. i'm not here to make you comfortable you know no 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 that's perfectly fine sir but the point here is not many not the entire country is not uh, comfortable because uh, the intention is not i'm not comfortable no, if the intention is i am not to do it no, no, if the intention is not to do it he should have he should have spoke about that and he should have at least apologized to the majority hindus who are feeling uncomfortable about it don't you think let's, that's being done I don't know why this is exactly what you guys are trying to do. You the whole origin of this you you used the word majority. It doesn't matter if I hurt a single individual or single atma it's wrong. Okay? So don't bring in a majority and minority into this. I'm Please. Glad. Now the whole purpose of the Indian politics and a lot of people unfortunately maybe you are also in that category today that majority versus minority is what's happening i'm just a journalist consistently in consistently no i started saying sanatan dharma as a word quote and quote has not been in vogue in tamil nadu politics or you know common usage in tamil nadu for quite quite a long time i've been in tamil nadu for, i've been now i'm 68 years old i haven't heard it for except for the last two years okay i'm going to argue with argue on that point take it very good i'm glad you did number one who brought it into the uh vogue and more so into political arena is i don't have to say specifically in the last one year even before that even bjp has not used it in the last one year it has been brought into the political arena not on a religious arena please understand this na the sanatan dharma even the religious preachers have not consistently used it i do listen to all the religious uh, upanyasas for quite some time but it's coming into vogue even in there but more so and that has been for probably for 18 months but political arena it was clearly brought in by a political office who it has which has been made into political office by our governor mr ravi okay he has been consistently using it and then several people started picking it up okay so what in the tamil nadu context has become sanatana dharma is they they got away from the word see hinduism everybody understands hinduism and in my opinion secularism go hand in hand because we accept everything we are the people we don't try and hurt others we don't criticize other people in the name of religion that's where it was but then hindutva came and we clearly corner and probably that's why people people can use easily the word hindutva and, and then no, and then they got away and got into sanatan dharma to sir get don't you think you're beating around the bush i asked you the question has this put congress in a cash 22 situation now sir you're beating around the bush 
No, I'm not. You're explaining some other dharma to us. I'm not be, because you started with the hate speech. I caught you on yes. that. Now you are on the back uh, back foot. Second, you talked about majority speech. and minority. I, I never on. I I, I never took a back back. You are on the back, 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 on the back foot. Now let's oh. go back. And I I I. I feel, I look into the camera and I tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay? Honestly, yes. sir. It is honestly, in no. Congress in Congress. There are. Is Congress in? Is, okay, let me let me put it I, again. Is I'm Congress in a cash twenty two situation? And I have read Congress through its official uh, response has very clearly said, Mr. Venu Gopal, who is the General Secretary of the Congress, mm -hmm. the closest to being uh, next to the President. He has been uh, saying that. He said, "We believe in every religion has an equal right, and Sanatan Dharma is part of a religion and being perceived as such." And that's I, I think maybe I'm misquoting it, but to make the long story short, I think he said, "We believe in all the religion. Every religion has thing." He should not have said that. Uh, close to that off. Mm. Uh, he, he didn't say he did not. He, uh, he should not have said that. Every party has their line. I think that's what he has said. Venu Gopal ji, Uday Nidhi ka jo statement hai Sanatan Dharm ko lekar ke, us par lagatar BJP ki taraf se hamla bola ja raha hai. Khas taur par Congress aur India Alliance se, aur ye pucha ja raha hai ki kya aap log is bayan ka samarthan kar rahe hain? Aakhir aap log chup kyu hain? Kya jawab hai? No, actually, our view very clear. Sarva Dharma Bhav, Samba Bhav na. Sarva Dharma Samba Bhav na is the Congress I think. But you have to understand. Every political party have their own freedom to tell their views. Priyanka, there are people, Priyanka there are people from Karnataka has said the I, same exactly, thing. I'm coming to it. There are people within Congress who has Congress has been, you know, for example, I have criticized the so-called highest level of Congress leader. I'm sitting in Congress. Congress uh, has the wide range, right from the independence moment till today, widest range of view. There is an official view. And there are congressmen who give their views. So the official view is very clear that we respect all the religion, and within the religion, all the caste, and we don't discriminate based on uh, caste or creed or language, unlike BJP. Okay. Do you think? Do you think Congress reacted the same way uh, in case of Nupur Sharma? Where this, where the degree of treatment or the degree of error committed was much lesser than what Mr. Udayanidhi Stalin has done. But, okay. Do you think Congress treated it the same way? I hope. I, okay, it's a good question, but I don't think I have so far ever never lied to anybody. But I, I think you will give me the same treatment when I ask you a question. Do you put Nupul Sharma and Stalin at the same political level? Definitely not. Okay, there lies the answer. There lies the answer. The answer is, when I say something, it's much different than the reach and the implications is much different than when Rahul Gandhi says it. Right. Okay, so Nupur is just, no, no. Just, a, no, no. just another spokesperson of the party. Right? Nupur Sharma. It Nupur is not Modi ji. No, no. I meant to say what the the issue is. Nupur Sharma's issue was given a different treatment by Congress, which is much more lesser in degree in, when compared to what Mr. Uday Stalin said. Why don't you burst the time? Let me tell you. When it comes to the reach, right? When it comes to the reach, it is just that the entire country today in the entire world, the Hindu or the Sanatana, the people living in majority, no, no, please, living please, in majority please, here. Please, wait, wait, please. wait, let me complete. So the, the, the number of maximum number of people who are Sanatanis are in this land, Bharat, and they are all condemning. Right. And in Nupur right. Sharma's case, it's the same issue, sir. But the issue is the majority of the uh, people what belonging is, to that particular is, religion. I don't know. Whether, I don't know. You're you bringing in context, sir. I'm bringing in context here. Now, the issue is what Mr. Uday Nidhi Stalin said is much more stronger than what Nupur Sharma said. My why don't you, Congress why is don't bringing you, it both in two different ways. Why don't you? Just for the memory of your readers, quote unquote, say what uh, Nikhil Sharma has said. Can we have that quote? 
I don't think it's going to be. I can. I can go. You, you, know, you have to because it's been such a long time. Even I'm, I'm, somebody who has actually. I'm a little reluctant. No, no. Let me be frank. I'm a little reluctant to quote that because I'm not a person who believed what she said should have been said in a political place. Now I don't want to repeat the same. So the entire world knows it. Let's say it. Let's I wouldn't. I wouldn't so even reiterate us, what Udayan Adi started saying. Let us. Let us condemn said. both this, which I have. Which I have. I can't. No, my question is. My question is. Why did Rahul Gandhi is very vocal in social media? You know him. He didn't condemn. Priyanka Gargi has again said it. You didn't. I mean, it's. And you know what? Uh, today I saw an interesting tweet from Amit Malviya, Union Minister. He has quoted an interview which was given by Tamil Nadu uh, Congress Chief K. S. Aragiri to a senior journalist, Mr. Rangaraj Pandey, in Chennai, where he said okay. he, I, Congress I, has this agenda of, you know. Actually, uh, eradicating Sanatan Dharma. Yeah, for is example, there a hidden agenda there, or what is it? For example, as a matter of fact, my friend, uh, old Congress leaders, very serious Congress, senior Congress leaders, grandson, brought that to my attention, and I have talked about it in my tweet. Uh, he is not supporting us of late uh, for a long time. But he said, "Are you supporting Mr. Aragiri on this particular quote that he had given to Rangaraj and Pandey?" At that time, honestly, I did defend Aragiri, and again saying the same thing: I, he, the Sanatan Dharma, as being used in Tamil Nadu political circle, I equated that to Hindu Twa, and hence I supported Aragiri. That's the truth. I'm telling you that. You can go back. I have not. I I wear unless it hurts somebody. I I don't have a habit of delete deleting my tweets, and I have seldom deleted my tweet. Even if I take all Sir, kinds on, of on on the stage. No, please listen are... to me. Please yes, listen. Please. I'm yes. giving you. This. I think you are getting to be like some other journalist uh, of uh, Republic, to interrupting, not get, kind of letting me complete and uh, sensationalizing the issues. No, so I will, to I will answer. Uh, to answer your question, I think in the Tamil Nadu context, this is what I'm trying to get at. This is the truth. I truly believe that the whole truth. And of course, every politician has to be held this word. And now that Stal uh, Udayanidhi Stalin saying this, and in the context of All India context, not in the Tamil Nadu context, in the All India context of things, it has hit. Uh, the roof, quote unquote, and what he said. So I think it has to be put in the right perspective. To say in Tamil Nadu, I can tell you very clearly, and I have at that time supported Aragiri, where the context of Aragiri saying it, and even because of continuously in Tamil Nadu happening, is this word is equated to Hindu Twa. Which is wrong? Which is wrong? It is not equated. It should not be equated to Hindu Twa. I should have read it. I personally supported Udayanidhi on. I I understand on the stage of the conclave, uh, Dravidar Karagam Chief Mr. Veeramani Veeramani clearly said he is equating it to Hinduism, not Hindu Twa. Even that, if it is Hindu Twa, right? I, well, let he, me complete. Even if it is Hindu Twa, even if it is Hindu Twa, then we have to debate it with. The people who are following the ideology, but not eradicate anything. Eradication is. I am. I am. I am. I am with you. That Rajiv Gandhi is a spokesperson. Unfortunately, my leader's name in DMK today, who has said something similar in the past, I have condemned it uh, to the highest level. I I brought it up to the highest level, and uh, they retract. Well, at least he has been made quiet. I think it's semantics. Now. It, The, a political leader has to be very careful, and for the higher he gets, he has to be more careful. But DMK, just like RSS, is the fountainhead of BJP. DMK is fountainhead is DK. I have consistently said DK and BJP are two sides of the hate politics. Say coin of the hate politics. DK has consistently. It's not the first time I'm saying it. 
DKS consistently and what is Congress, baited what are the Congress leaders doing? And the uh, BJP has consistently so baited you don't, the minority. You don't consider what KS Adigiri said is hate speech. You don't consider what Udayanidhi said is hate speech. You no, don't no, consider you what Mr. Karke said is hate speech. You need to look at the intention of this. That's, that's exactly what I'm trying to go, uh, say. Is I think it, hurt, it has hurt feelings of people. And I think they should apologize if it has hurt the feelings of the people. They should avoid, at least in the future, to use. I, I have, I will not equate Sanatan Dharma as it is understood because I have understood the definition of Sanatan Dharma. Now, I will not equate Sanatan Dharma with Hindutva anymore. But it has been brought into and made to understand because not only what is said but who said makes the context. And Ravi has been consistently bringing it to political thing to get back. And I uh, used it in uh, improperly. You and the BJP uh, has used people, it improperly like to take Bhavan. on to create hatred and divide the uh, people in Tamil Nadu. Sir, and hence it has been said. Sir, you are quoting Honorable Gardner. So let, now let me ask people like Tirumavalvan, who has been quoting this word right from the inception of his party, have been educated by Mr. R. N. Ravi. I mean, should I take it like that? I have I have criticized Tirma Valavan consistently on this issue, and no, I will. You, you told no, me that the word I, is I constantly I, being I, used only by governor. No, I it's, it's, no, no. That yeah, governor, governor, governor is the person, and you you have already accepted it has been brought into the political arena only of late in Tamil Nadu. Sanatan Dharma is equated to BJP's politics. And no, their objective never, is to divide I never, I never divide, agreed it was equal to BJP's politics. That was your statement. And that's why they have done it. And that's no, why sir, they no, are sir. Sir. It sir, I accepted the word Sanatan Dharma's usage has come to play in Tamil Nadu politics recently. But equating it to BJP is your part. No, have it well, you. But it has, no, not, not mine. Okay, maybe, maybe, see, Mukha, you know, I can say you know, jumped there. You know, you may as well be, jump the whole well because no point in saying half truths. Say the full truth. It has no, been brought into political it's, arena. It's not. That's BJP. not the case. So that, that's a different BJP. debate which we'll... No, sir. That, that's a different debate I would like to have with you uh, separately. Now, coming okay. back, Congress is not seriously condemning. Rahul Gandhi is not tweeting. Do you think... It is? It has created a lot of noise, sir. It's created a lot of noise. It's hurt a lot of people. Now, do it you think, yes. Yeah. It has so hurt do me. you think it's going to... It's. I know, sir. I know it will be hurt. So, but uh, being a Sanadani, I, I totally understand that. And uh, yes. So, do you think this is going to impact in the elections next year? Do I you think, think it it's will. a very, very... Hmm? I, think, I think it will. Unfortunately, BJP will use it to the hilt. And the job is... That's exactly what they were looking for. They were trying to see... They will not contest the election in terms of progress, in terms of development, in terms of helping the poor. Uh, so now they have, you know, in Tamil, there's a saying, you know, so it just, uh, I think they, he has provided a fodder. Um, we'll see how it, uh, how it has, but I, I have a feeling that at this stage, uh, this has, I think elections is very far away, of course. Uh, there's a saying that now they say the prime minister may call the election sooner. And I think we should, this country's politics should go on development, helping the poor, increasing the standard of living. Uh, unfortunately, after BJP has come into the mainstream, it has been going on uh, emotional division of the country in the name of religion and caste. Of course, caste has been done in Tamil Nadu for quite some time. And BJP is using the same tactics on religions throughout the country. And just like the DK and their uh, protégés succeeded in Tamil Nadu, BJP is succeeding in the country. Perfect. Thank you so much sir, for sharing your views on this, sir. Uh, as always, it's it's a great pleasure talking to you about various issues. So looking forward to an, an, another interesting meeting with you soon, sir. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity Thanks, to go to your views.